I'd like to thank you, first of all, for coming along today and helping us celebrate and remember the sacrifices made by a good number of men and women from Poland and from Scotland and who fought for their freedom and ours. I'll introduce you in a second to uh, the main party and then I'll explain a bit further about the memorial and about why we're here today. But first of all, I'd like to introduce Marek Straczynski, who is the chairman of the Polish ex combatants Association here in Edinburgh. Father Putin, who some of you will know from St Mary's Cathedral. And Reverend Joanne Hood from Bellevue St Mary's Church. Uh, Mr and Mrs Thomas Farrans. Trafas. Trafas, uh, uh, We've only just met today for the first time. Uh, who is the new Consul General here in Edinburgh and his good wife. Uh, we have Chief Superintendent Colin Cameron, who is the Divisional Commander for the City of Edinburgh, and Inspector Dees, who is the Commander at Leith. And just past them we have Ailey Knorr, who will explain a bit further about this beautiful monument that we, we have here, and Alan Herriot, who was uh, the sculptor of this uh, amazing thing. Isabella Brodzinska, who is the chairperson of the Scottish Polish Cultural Association, who is here because of some wonderful work for the existing Polish community. I'll just explain that this is one year on since I know some of you joined us here last year and that uh, I particularly want to tell you about the flags that you can see that were made by Polish children who attend Svetlitsa and were part of the theatre group who put on a wonderful performance during the Polish Cultural Festival. And, uh, and they're all very proud of, of what they did, and I think it's, it's fantastic and a tribute to them. But, uh, I'm going to ask uh, the Consul General to say a few words. Wielce Szanowni Państwo, wszyscy, którzy tutaj przybyliście. Dzień, jak Państwo wiecie, dzisiejszy jest dniem symbolicznie obchodzonym na terenie całej Wielkiej Brytanii, jako upamiętniający tych, którzy zginęli, polegli, którzy po prostu przyczynili się do wyzwolenia naszego, cudzego, innego kraju i ten dzień obchodzony zresztą w Polsce jako święto niepodległości, tutaj jako dzień pamięci związany zresztą z pierwszą wojną światową, on ma swoją symbolikę w tym miejscu. Ladies and gentlemen, if anyone else has tributes that they would like to lay, please come forward. <laughs> 